Welcome back guys. So I'm going to do like um, a few parts to this video. Um, so this is about career or calling. Okay, so it's like a really big question I get all the time. Like, how do I find my calling? I'm quite surprised that um, a lot of people don't know or think they don't know what their calling is. And I often answer to them, your calling can be many different things throughout your life. And let's, for example, let's say if we're talking about a calling that's a job or, um, you know, like, because we can have a career or a job and a job that's a calling. OK, so you may be looking for what's your calling um, in life. So. I've had many, many jobs. I've worked as a cleaner. I've worked in a school. I've worked every sort of so job you could think, and it never really stuck or fit with me. Okay, so what? how do you find your calling? What is your calling is the question I get asked. And I answer, in the beginning stages of my life, my calling was to be a mother. That's what I wanted to be. So I felt the urge, the calling to be a mother. So how would you find out your calling? So at this moment in time, how do you find your calling? Ask yourself if you uh, had wasn't held back by money or by anything else in life, what would you do the most? What would you want to do the, the most? That you call in, in your own heart, okay? A lot of people feel like they don't have a calling because they think, well, I'm not a singer or I'm not a priest or um, it's not like a big, amazing a calling. Your calling is your calling, what you're drawn to, what your heart desires the most, okay? So, like I said, my, my first desire was to be a mother, a wife, things like that. So what if you was going to die in three months and you knew you was going to die in three months? What would you want to do before you die? These are simple things you can ask yourself and really put yourself in that position if you really want to know. Um, really ask yourself, because when if we knew when we was going to die, none of us would let fear hold us back and it's just fear that holds us back most of the time or conformity that's in one of the other videos as well so what would you do ask yourself what would you do if you could do anything without being held back by fear without being held back by money responsibilities what is it you would do that's your calling so as well i thought about this and i was like um a lot of people have external factors that do hold them back, people that do hold them back. I was discussing this all day um, with my son. It's not just haters that can hold you back. People who love you can hold you back. A lot of the time we get this unworthiness um, implanted in us when we're children. Um, I explained it to my son in this way, like um, maybe you know, a child wants to be a footballer from very young and that's all they desire. I'm going to be a footballer when I grow up. And the parent says, no, you have to go to school. Um, I'm in the UK. It's illegal not to send your children to school. Um, you can get fined. You can get prison sentences for not. I just seen that. Um, you know, not sending your child to school. So there are external factors in this world that we live in that can hold you back from what's your um, calling. So, like I was saying about, you know, a child that maybe wants to be a footballer. So maybe they, we call it nick off school, skip school to go play football. And that's because they're being drawn to that or, you know, that's their desire and that's their focus. And my son said to me, it's like um, the fish and the monkey story. Um, you know, we can't judge a monkey against a fish on how well it swims or a fish on how well it climbs compared to a monkey. But 
we're in a society that wants to make us all conform and go into like an education system um, that's supposed to better us. OK, but it sort of as well takes us away from listening to our own instincts, our own callings, our own heart, our own desires. So often we're stopped by people that love us as well. It's not just like I said, people who don't want us to shine. Often we're stopped by people that love us like, well, come on, son, you need to stay in school because I, I want you to get this education so that you do well when you grow up and you've got money when you grow up. I want you to be successful. So being successful is a successful person is a person who is doing what they desired to do. OK, because that child who skipped school could grow up to be um, David Beckham. OK, um, a footballer, probably one of the highest paid footballers in the UK. I know football's different in America. We call it rugby. <laughs> but yeah, oh, that could even be totally different as well. But it's not the point. The point is, you know, often we can be stopped by outside influences on our true calling. And it's not because somebody hates you. It can be the opposite. They don't want to let go of you. Um, they love you. They want the best for you. And they just can't see, oh, how are you going to be a writer in this day and age? And they just can't see it. And, um, you know, they want to lead you towards what they think for them is a positive idea, but it's not for you. It's not your calling, okay, to be um, a hairdresser. Maybe some, it is somebody's calling, like, Ever since they was little, they wanted to be a hairdresser. That's a successful person. That's somebody who's followed their desires and heard their calling. So your calling can be a hairdresser. OK, it's not that it has to be something like out of this world sort of thing or um, it has to be a famous person or an actor. No, your calling is what you desire in your heart. And what you desire in your heart can change throughout your life, okay? And um, I was speaking to that about my son as well. Um, like, my desire, my calling first was to be a mother. And then my calling was to be, you know, um, happy, I guess. Um, so there's, it's different for everybody. And to, if you really want to find out what your calling is, ask yourself these tough, tough questions. Ask you what's holding you back. OK, I'm going to do another video about um, a 30 day challenge. If you really want to get your life on track, then watch that. We'll see how many people can watch it. I mean, it's 30 days. If you can't put 30 days into yourself, why would anybody else put 30 days into you? You know, you've somebody can even motivate you like a motivational speaker can motivate you and get you, you know, riled up like, yeah, I want to change. I want to change. I'm going to change. But then you need to take yourself the rest of the distance. So I hope that, um, you know, makes sense to you there. Not only do we have um, people in our outside world, friend or foe, sabotaging uh, us getting to our calling, but we also have self-sabotage, don't we? I'm a Scorpio and we do this big time. So it can even be like we're almost at where we want to be and then we'll self-sabotage. And then we'll be like, oh, well, that didn't work. Out. And oh, my gosh. I don't know anybody who does this worse than Scorpios. We're our own worst enemy. OK, really and truly. Um, so the self-sabotaging, telling yourself because of circumstances holding you back and um, certain things like hold, uh, holding you back. I just wanted this one to be a quick video about finding your calling. OK, so A, what would you do if nothing was holding you back? What would you do if you was going to die in three months? What would the last thing you want to do? Before you leave this earth, what do you want to do? OK. So be tough with yourself. Ask yourself these questions. What is it you most want to do? A lot of people know. A lot of people know what what do you want to do? And you can ask them and they'll be like, um, you know, I want to be a singer. You know, just an example. Um, you know, I really want to be a baker. 
you know, they'll tell you what they want it to be. So that's that, that's your calling. OK, it doesn't have to. A lot of people feel like they don't know their calling because they think it's a priest because you'll hear so a priest say it was my calling. So that's what we hear in society most. OK, so it doesn't have to be something that's, you know, spectacular and amazing and wow your calling is you know what your heart most desires because if you think about it if somebody desires to be a taxi driver but you know they're going to enjoy their job they're going to give the most to their job they're going to be talking to people okay so they could meet somebody and say oh cheer up or they could give them some advice because they meet lots of different people in their job so they know lots of different things you may feel that's not a calling being a taxi driver but you can meet so many different people and have a huge effect on the world it is a calling and you'll know if it's your calling maybe some people had the calling of the american dream to go there and you may feel like that guy is the owner of a minimap that's not a calling if his heart desired this it's a calling and you'll be able to tell between a career and a calling a job and a calling because my calling right now is to do youtube okay so a calling you never tire from it okay people will say to me take a rest and things like that i'm rejuvenated because I receive as much from you guys. The feedback from you guys refills my energy, okay? To keep doing this, to keep following my passion, you know? So this is my calling at this time, okay? So I know a lot of you may feel like um, that's, maybe a job or something like that no it's my calling if a job i've had many jobs like i said a job i would go to i would be drained i would need a holiday from it i would need all sorts of things like to keep me going in that job i would need coffee whereas i can sit here and have done before now making youtube videos or making personal videos for people and not eat all day because I'm energized by the energy I'm getting from you guys. That's the difference between a calling. So somebody could work in a minima or in a taxi for 15 hours a day because it's what they enjoy, it's what their heart desires, it's their calling. They're supposed to be there to meet people, to interact with those people at that time, okay? So it is your divine calling, okay, guys? So. Yeah, this is just one of the video of free and I hope like you'll follow um, the 30 days to change your life video that I'm posting. L let me know your feedback, guys, as always. So if you want to know your calling, it, the answer is within you, guys. OK, the answer is within you. I promise you. Just think if I just think to yourself, if I was going to die in three months, what do I want to do? Oh, I want to go travel. So maybe your calling is to travel at this time. Okay, guys? Good luck.